Hi everybody, Taylor Crockett here. Today I am talking about my 1994 Toyota Hiace Japanese import right hand drive, three liter turbo diesel van. Absolutely a beast that we have had a blast with for the past few months that we've owned it. It is a super custom full-time four wheel drive. Uh, in that time that I've owned it, I've spent a lot of time researching accessories to really make this a perfect outdoor van for us and so today I am going to be talking about my roof racks and these are by a company called Rhino Rack and they are really heavy duty racks. Like I said I spent a lot of time researching these. I couldn't really find a great option in the US that that I thought was the look I wanted and, and heavy duty like I wanted. One of the things that I try to do because these are not as prevalent in the United States, you don't get as many accessories, companies that list it as a model that you can choose from on their websites and, and give you suggestions on what items to purchase. And so a lot of times I'll go to Australian websites and find a product that I like and they normally do have the uh, super custom high ace vans listed as an option to choose from that it'll kind of spit out the accessories that they have available. On my van, a lot of these super customs come with multiple sunroofs. This one does not, so I really wanted 4X to go all the way across the length of the van, whereas a lot of these super customs have the four sunroofs, and you do not necessarily want to cover those sunroofs, so I think two roof racks would work for, for most everyone with a super custom. One, one of the tough things to find on these in the US is finding the right fit for these gutter mounts. And that's where Rhino Rack came in and they have some great options. And so they have a couple options you can choose from. One's called the Heavy Duty and one is called the Vortex Racks. I really like the accessories that come with the Vortex. They have a little bit more options than the Heavy Duty racks do. But when looking at both, they're really weighted for the same weight. And so I went ahead and went with the Vortex and have the option for the other accessories like kayak mounts and bike mounts. We're gonna walk over here and you know, take a look at these. You know, one of the things that I really liked about these is, is the profile. You're looking at about six inches wide uh, on each one of these legs. And so the, the model that I found works really great with these Super Customs is the 59 inch long Vortex bars. And you can see here, you know how much they hang over is just a little bit of a uh, overhang at 59 inches and so they come with some accessories to you know really cut down on wind you can see here the rubberized grip on the top of these uh, you can also see these roof racks are really nice and wide i'm thinking about three inches wide each on each rack i believe these are weighted for about 160 pounds and also you know, one of the things that I look for is, you know, durability. These have five-year warranty. I'm really happy about that. So these racks will set you back about $440 for two Vortex bars, two sets of the gutter mount legs, and two sets of the adapters to mount the Vortex bars to the gutter mount legs. My setup set me back about $900 for all four sets. Now my basket on top, I really wanted a basket that was the full length of my van. I had a hard time finding one long enough, so I found a company on Amazon that makes a decent product, but it's the longest one I could find, 84 inches and what I did is bought two of them and pieced them together to have 130 inches. Now one of the things I would recommend with this Arxen brand is they do come in pieces and then you assemble it. One of the things that I would definitely recommend to cut down on rust is go ahead and have somebody weld the pieces together once you assemble it because there are some times that water gets inside of the pieces and then leaks out and just not not a good feeling to, to see rust anywhere on the van so I would definitely weld those together and avoid uh, water getting inside and rusting on the inside. 